and to get uh, a little bit more to uh, practical things uh, later on, uh, we were talking last uh, last lecture or last talk about the different uh, layers or levels of the existence, and that there are a different techniques, methods, uh, which are more effective for uh, different layers. And of course, if you mainly live in a material physical world, uh, it, it would be very difficult for someone to teach, uh, mm, uh, for a person like my friend Martin, if I would teach him to do something uh, through the mind, moving the energy through the body, he wouldn't feel anything because it's not for him. He doesn't understand it yet. But if you are getting a little bit higher, more a subtle mm, techniques and methods are actually more effective. Uh, so for the energetic uh, kosha layer of the existence, not the physical, but a little bit uh, higher, if you go to the energy, energy body or energy part of the existence, there are different techniques that are more effective. Uh, and of course, there are these uh, ethical codex and discipline and so on, but also uh, like a techniques of pranayama, which is not a breath work, but breath is here only as a medium for guiding the energy and getting uh, more sensitive to other uh, way of feeling the things through energy, to expand the energy and to guide energy. Uh, and also mantra, yantra. Mantra is a sound or nada or the vibration and yantra. It's, uh, it's like a light. It's a little bit lower level, layer because it's the... If you would take a mantra and freeze it in a time, you would get yantra. It's two-dimensional expression of the sound of vibration so these uh, diamet diametrical uh, shapes basic shapes they are actually the mm, expression of the sound of the vibration it's just a different layer uh, and even a lower layer there would be mm, there would be mandala because mandala is a three-dimensional expression of yantra or of the sound. And for that, of course, you can use other techniques like uh, work with the bandhas, these locks uh, in the body, in energetical part of the body, uh, or mudras. Mudra can be by fingers or by um, uh, different shapes of your body or just focusing the mind somewhere. It also could be a mudra or meditation, kriya techniques, and so on. So there are um, different methods, different techniques, how to affect more effectively the energetic landscape of your of your existence. Sorry, what's bandha again? Bandha. Bandhas. Uh, there are three basic uh, uh, bandhas. Bandha means there are actually two, ex two words that would explain it. One is a lock that you physically or mentally lock energy in some part of the body. One is in the pelvic floor, Mula Bandha, very small Adhara Chakra. Yes. Second is uh, the throat. And the third one is the Udhyana Bandha, uh, which is close to the uh, solar plexus. Uh, but it's in Sushumna, it's in that uh, energy pathway and you can lock it down, you can lock it here and by Udhyana Bandha in the middle you are creating uh, tension and uh, you are creating that inner pressure inside and helping your energy rise up. And there are different techniques. So one, it's a lock, but from another point of view, it's actually a bridge. You can you can translate it as a bridge because it helps you to um, to create a pathway or the bridge to a higher levels of consciousness. That would be a, probably the best uh, way how to explain it. So these are very important. These are like advanced techniques, and usually they are taught. Uh, uh, later in the practice when people are able to manage uh, basic physical practices. And, uh, 
and the sound, the the vibration, it's like a second level. Uh, then where you have a uh, like Om, mantra Om, the substratum of the universe, um, or Brahman, uh, or mm, the absolute, the consciousness, universal consciousness. When you want to express something like uh, the the universe is created from that one point, it's created through sound. It's created through vibration. That's all tradition works with that. At the beginning, there was a word, and word uh, was with the God. Uh, in in Hindu tradition, it's uh, Brahman who created that that sound or the word, um, and the word was truly the supreme Brahman. It's same in uh, Egyptian mythology that the word or the sound is very important aspect, uh, like the origin of the creation, and the sound, uh, the vibration creates the uh, not just the energy but also the material world. Now I will just play uh, part of that. movie I hope you will hear the sound the film you are about to see yeah. has no characters Oh I have seen this, yeah, this You've seen that I I'll watch it again I love it Yeah we will just spare a little of your part of it It is a film to describe what? to you the effect of cymatic frequencies on matter And you can notice here that uh, more complex the sound is, uh, higher the vibration, uh, more complex the uh, yantra, the shape is. That's why we say we need to increase our vibration, we need to get higher, because higher frequency means more complex way of understanding and seeing the world not just one physical aspect but we will see much more it's like uh, getting higher on a ladder and then you can you can see from a higher perspective you can see more things not just through your limited uh, senses but also through a kind of inner uh, vision 